There are many beings in D&D of which to be afraid of. Things that can kill your entire party. Things that creep up on you. Things that hide from you. And things whose only desire is to see you dead. But there is one being in all of D&D that is universally feared. An eldritch horror. A hive mind of unknown origins that has not only been here since the beginning of time, but they have come from the end of time. Surviving all other races, the Mind Flayers, or the Illithid, are psionic tyrants, slavers, and interdimensional voyagers who dwell in the Underdark, forced down into the subterranean depths eons ago. They have four sickly tentacles wrapped around the mouth of a lamprey, designed specifically for one purpose, consuming the sentient brains of the living. Mind Flayers have utterly alien thought processes and enigmatic objectives. They see themselves as masterminds that twist others into serving their own sinister and far-reaching schemes. The most horrific part of these megalomaniacs, these extreme tyrants, is their immense ambition and common beliefs. They stretch across all of the Underdark and work together in singular purposes. They have psionic abilities to twist minds of lesser creatures, creating slave armies. They revel in the enslavement and torturing of beings such as Duragar and Drow, and any adventurers that they come across, they will not hesitate to corrupt. Mind Flayers believe all creatures to be inferior to them. They are livestock, fit to die as food, work as slaves, or serve as vessels for more of their kind. Mind Flayers don't think like people. They don't have empathy or emotions, and are typically controlled by a singular being called an Elder Brain. The amalgamation of hundreds of dead Mind Flayer brains, a being so intelligent, mortals cannot comprehend the thoughts that pass through Mind Flayer's heads. Once Mind Flayers get into combat, most beings do not survive the encounter. They have an ability called Mind Blast where they stun all creatures in their direct area in a cone. Then, they get close to you with their four tentacles wrap around your head as they insert their tentacles in through your nose and extract your brain. It then devours the brain in front of the rest of your party. And this is what happens if they do not take your mind over and use you as a thrall. Entire races of beings, like earlier mentioned the Duragar, have been completely corrupted from dwarves over generation and generation of torture and mind flares occupying their minds with psionic abilities and thoughts that no humanoid can comprehend. Mind flares are iconic, of course, indeed, but how can a DM bring this cosmic horror into a game? Mind flares are extremely intelligent, as stated earlier, and they are perfect predators. If any one mind flare can detect your presence, then all other mind flares in the area know you're there. Mind Flayers are very adept at luring characters into traps. The Underdark is a daunting, hellish landscape with twisting caverns and winding paths, and they can communicate telepathically over great distance, speaking to your characters. They may spend days without approaching, knowing you to be lost, cutting off any escape, placing illusions, reading your thoughts to see where you want to go next, cutting you off, gathering more Mind Flayers, if a Mind Flayer detects your presence first, which it almost certainly will, it is already many steps ahead of you. Mind Flayers will strike precisely at the right time, and as they levitate around corners, your entire party's composition, layout, abilities, skills known in their head, after days of scouting, they will execute your party with impunity, and take many of you over as thralls, either to be used as Mind Flayers or slaves. Mind Flayers also just have sheer numbers and strength, with many, many creatures under their control and in their hive mind. They will send wave after wave of captured beings and slaves towards you, before finally striking when you're weakest. So, consider this your warning to never enter the Underdark, Mind Flayers domain. If you do, you may hear an alien-like slimy voice in your head, torturing you playing with you for days. Then, before you know it, a mind blast, shattering your mind, stunning you in the moment, and all you can do is watch as the group of mind flayers 
levitate towards you, a look of utter superiority on their faces as they move their tentacles aside to reveal a circular mouth with thousands of teeth. And as you stand there, unmoving, unable to do anything, your last thoughts will be simple and you will hear the slimy sucking sound of your brain being extracted, unable to scream, unable to move, and soon unable to think for yourself. If you'd like to see more about Mind Flayers, they are extremely complex and have a very cool, interesting background in D&D. Check out the video in the description or on the screen now for a forgotten lore on the race of Mind Flayers.